Hey everyone, it's Presley at ActoGames.com here, and today we're going to be talking about gyroscopic precession. And I can actually pronounce that somehow. You can pronounce it, perfect. Can you explain it? <laughs> no, not so much. Okay, so all we did is we're building a little gyroscope like you see in physics classes uh, all over the place to do experiments. It's just a bicycle wheel. So we took Presley's bike here. Um, I took the front tire off. It's uh, an awesome bike. It is an awesome bike. I got a couple of these little foot pegs that you can use to do tricks on the bike. They're pretty cheap. I grabbed a couple off Amazon for like eight bucks or so. And Presley will also get to learn to do some tricks. Um, but it makes a good handle for the gyroscope. So really you just have to get the wheel spinning to make a gyroscope. Uh, like I said, you see these in physics demonstrations all over the place. I got this little piece of strip metal, uh, drilled a hole in it so that it went on the bolt and then screwed the foot peg on so that we can use that as a little bit of a handle uh, to monkey around with it. So that's exactly what we're going to use to be our gyroscope. And then uh, do you want to show what happens first? Well, if it's not spinning, it, what happens? You're going to we're going to gently push up on the floor. Yeah, you're going to push up on the bar. You're going to push up on the bar, and it tilts the opposite other way. Yeah, so the... Because you're pushing up on this, and it pushes down on that. Yep, the end by the bar, where the bar is, mm -hmm. when you push up, goes up, right? And the other end goes down, mm -hmm. right? Just like you would think it does, mm -hmm. right? Right. And so what we're going to talk about is what happens when differently spinning. when the wheel's spinning. So let's get the wheel spinning. That's the brake. Okay. Here, let's put Oops, go ahead. I just broke the brake. I just put hold the brake. Oh, okay. Keep going. Keep going. Okay, this time, when you push up, it turns that way. It goes to the side. I've right? kind of heard what it is. It happens 90 degrees later, so mm -hmm. you feel, so it's kind of. So you, if you pull up on this, it won't do that. It'll pull if you pull up on this, it'll be on that. Yeah. So because this, if it was, if it's a whole bicycle, it would be on this side, like a help. Yeah. So gyroscopic precession means that on this gyroscope, mm -hmm. when you apply force, mm -hmm. that force is push. is realized oh. 90 degrees out of phase. Is what it's called. Yes, so you push up here, mm -hmm. but it acts like somebody's pushing up over here, so it falls that way. Right? Or over here. Or over here. But what determines which side goes up? Which side goes up? The way the wheel spins. The way the wheel spins. So if the wheel's spinning this way, you put force here, it goes 90 Should degrees, and it pulls like that. Should we try that? We will. Same thing though. Look, on this side, if, if it's spinning this direction, you put force here, it spins 90 degrees, and it goes this way. So let's spin the other direction. I think we'll do it both ways just to be sure. So that's the Hold on. Push up. Yeah, so same thing. So it's spinning this direction. So when you pushed up here, it came and it went up that way. So now spin it the other direction. Watch your head. Okay, go. I'm going to get a haircut by this mic. <laughs> Real fast. Here you go. Pop, 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 pop. Like Veritasium, Veritasium and Sparta every day did the video on this. And like Veritasium, when he was trying to explain this, he, his wheel was on a rope. Push up. It, it was actually like a whoop, the other way. So it, asks, so it acts as if this was on this side and it was not spinning. So it's spinning this direction. So when you push here, it goes 90 degrees and it falls over. So this, we don't, we're not going to explain the physics of why that happens, right? But sometimes that's okay, right? It's okay to not know why it happens, as long as you know that it happens. Mm -hmm. So, like we were talking about, if this was a helicopter blade, right, and it's spinning, and the pilot wants to tilt the blade forward so he can go forward, mm -hmm. he doesn't lift up back here to go forward. Where does he lift up? Over here. Where? Right here. Yeah. So he would lift up here, mm -hmm. or he would actually over here, right? Because you want to lift up here, and then it moves this way and applies that way. Yep. So the helicopter has to know that while the rotor's spinning, it lifts here, and that makes it tilt forward. 
-hmm. And just knowing that it happens, you could design it and make it work without even having to know why it happened, mm -hmm. right? And if you watch, like you said, Smarter Every Day. And Veritasium. And Veritasium. So Smarter Every Day did a really great video series on helicopter physics. Mm -hmm. And Derek from Veritasium did one video mm -hmm. as part of that playlist that talks about gyroscopic precession. Yep. And Destin did one on gyroscopic precession mm -hmm. that shows how this works. So there are two videos on gyroscopic precession. That's, there are at least two. And it's a really sort of confusing thing when you start looking at it and learning about it, but just you know, a few dollars and a few minutes, you can build something like this, just a simple little bicycle wheel. And well, probably more than a few dollars for the bike. If, assuming you already have a bicycle. Yes. Yeah. So it's pretty easy to build, and when you feel it, how it works, and when you push up and it falls over, mm -hmm. you can really kind of see how it happens now. So this goes along with our inertia and friction. You can see gyroscopic precession is another thing that you can think about while you're starting to mess around with some of these things. Yeah, and so now you understand how it works, or you understand what happens. I understand what happens. Not exactly, not exactly how, how it how works, it but the physics is. And we'll talk about that later, but that's not important right now. Sometimes it's just important to know how it, what's going to happen, and then you can plan around it and work with it. Yep. So if you were working with something that was spinning like this, and you wanted to tilt it a certain way, you would know. You have to apply the force like 90 degrees out of focus. You have to go like that. Yeah, you have to apply the force 90 degrees out of focus to make it turn. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yep. Anything else? Okay. So that's another science video for us, huh? Yep. And what's it called? Gyroscopic precession. And I actually pronounced that yet again. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised. Perfect. Mm -hmm.